guys and welcome to another video on my channel and in today's video I am going to be making a, a lamp it's going to be a bedside lamp for as a Christmas present for my mum so what, what I'm going to do is basically I found a lamp that we didn't use anymore and I took off the top part, the decorative, and I got and I was left with just the base and uh, the mount for the light bulb. That's and I'm gonna build around that. So I already drawn out everything I needed, and I recently bought a couple of nice uh, pine planks and there's some a back plank of sapili. I'm not gonna use sapili in this video however I'm gonna use some pine that I bought so I've marked everything out and let's get cutting okay guys so uh, just before we start cutting I just wanted to show you how the lamp is gonna be about look like so the f I'm going to be building around this what was left from a normal lamp and it's just a chrome lamp, lamp uh, chrome base and a bulb holder and it came with this nut and it, this holder is threaded so what I decided to do is basically drew a hole through the bottom of my my lamp box the, that the thing that's gonna go around the bulb and just screw it on with this so that's what I'm gonna do it's gonna be all the way down however this thing is not threaded all the way down to the bottom so what I have to do is make a spacer a small space and then build and then build the lamp on top of the spacer so I have everything marked out here so I basically the lighting is bad on this how I'll try to show it the best way I can so this is going to be the spacer it's just going to be a square I marked out the center and I'm going to draw a hole in this then this is the bottom of the lamp and this is also going to have a hole because this is going to go under this and this is going to go Hello oh guys, so I didn't realize that my uh, camera has stopped uh, so uh, I was talking to myself really so I'll just carry on from the point we left so I was talking about this going, uh, it being as a space and this being and this is going to be as the, the bottom of the whole lamp lamp and how this is gonna look like is gonna be don't worry about the cubes inside this is gonna be one wall this is gonna be a second wall this is gonna be a third wall and this is gonna be a fourth wall so the whole box the whole lamp is going to be 12 by 12 12 by 12 centimeters so uh, this is 12 centimeters. The second wall is 12 centimeters. However, the third and fourth are 8 centimeters because I'm gonna just mount it together uh, s uh, the standard way. So just butt two two pieces of wood together, and because uh, these are eight because the thickness of my wood is two centimeters so when I add two centimeters from each side to eight centimeters it makes up to 12 centimeters so the whole box is going to be 12, centi 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters and the inside of the box is going to be eight by eight eight by eight by eight by eight and that's basically what I'm going to do and all the squares marked out inside of the walls are just the are just the uh, places where I need to draw the the holes so this is going to be basically like a box around the bulb 
and it's just gonna have a lot of holes drilled through it so a uh, light can go through so yeah that's basically all I'm gonna do so I'm gonna go to my bandsaw and cut everything out <laughs> Okay guys, so now that I have all my parts cut out, uh, this is going to be the spacer, I just need to draw a hole through this, this is going to be the bottom, so I already cut this out, and these are the four walls, so that's first, first wall, second, third, and fourth. And I'm also cut out uh, the same thing as I cut out for the bottom here on a different uh, scrap of plywood because I was planning on doing a top. However, I don't know how it's gonna how it's gonna function because I still need to put the bulb in and out. So I made it out of some scrap, and uh, I'll just try to make uh, try to make a top out of it, but. If it doesn't work out, uh, I'm not wasting really wood because this is a scrap. So I just cut out this for a test. So when I was cutting, I wasn't cutting perfect, so I need to equal out all of these with a hand plane. And then once I've done that, I can drill holes through the top, bottom, and the spacer. So the first thing I'll do is basically even out everything so I'll set up my camera and I'll see you in a minute okay guys so now I'm just gonna drill through uh, the spacer, the top and the bottom, so I just found a hole saw that was the ideal size for this, so it just went in snugly, so that's what I'm going to use, so I'm just going to draw, draw through all of these three pieces, then change the drill bit and drill uh, the, the holes through the sides, so I'm just going to Draw through these three pieces, and I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> okay, guys, so I have drawn through all of these, all of uh, these, the spacer, the top, and the bottom. So that's how it looks like. So I already tested it, tested it out. <laughs> uh, this is how it's going to look like from the side, so this is the spacer here, and this is the bottom, so that, and I told you about the nut here, so that's going to hold everything down together and it's not going to fall apart, however, they, they still have a little bit of loose in them and that's okay, because the nut really holds it together and it doesn't really wobble around when the nut is on, so there's basically turned out this this and this so now that I have these I'll need to take my biggest brad point bit put it in my drill press and drill through the sides to let the light through so I'll have to on every on 
every point where the lines cross, I will have to draw a hole. So on this piece, let's say there's about one, two, three, four, five, ten, ten holes. So that's basically what I'm gonna do. Just draw through every single one, every every single cross point, and I'll show you just me drawing about two of them, and I'll show you the re and I'll just do rest of camera and show you the result. Okay guys, so now that I have drilled through all of these sign bits, so here you are, these are the sign bits all drilled, all drilled through. So now that I have everything drilled and cut, there's nothing really left but to assemble the, the whole box, the box that's gonna be the lamp so uh, I'm gonna assemble it with nothing but just uh, drywall screws and some glue so I I will, I will uh, show me assembling one of the sides together and that's gonna be and I'm gonna assemble rest of camera and then I'm just gonna show myself sanding the whole box. So I'll assemble it all and I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, so the box is now assembled, so everything is not perfect, there's still some things I need to correct, so just before I do that, with my sander, I'll correct all the imperfections, I'll need to mount the bottom to my, uh, to my lamp, so here I marked out all the holes so there's holes here and I could fit a row of holes here however I didn't want each piece so I knew where the bottom was so this is gonna be the bottom here this part and I'm gonna mount it here because I don't wanna I don't uh, wanna see most most of this through the holes so I'll hide it that way doing this so now I'm gonna just mount my my uh, bottom on and I'll just show me mounting it quickly and then I'll have nothing to do but sand it and then lacquer it so yeah I'll just Screw it together and I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> okay guys, so now the hot box is all assembled. The bottom is on. The and ever uh, the sides are screwed together, so all that's left now is basically sanding, and right after that, a lacquering. So I'm gonna sand it with a disc on my drill press, as well as with my uh, the, uh, oscillating sander. So I'm gonna use both of those to sand this down nice, sand the corners down as well. And I'll show me sanding it for a little while, and then I'll just just do the rest of the camera, and then show me lacquering it. So I'll see you in a minute.
Okay guys, so I have now finished sanding and this is how the pull knot look like, looks like. I also sanded this spacer here. So now that I have both of these sanded, I recently bought this spray lacquer here. And I'll test it out on the scrap I had lying around. So if you're going to use this, remember not to use it uh, in the sun because this is very toxic. Um, so I'll just try it out on a piece of wood and then just do the rest of it. So first try. It doesn't look too bad. I'll need to wait. Wait. So uh, when this is dry, I'll see you for lacquering the home box. Thank you.